Good everyone, Argonos video, and today we have a request by Tanker for you 1234 for the T3 and the P3E. Try saying that five times fast when you're drunk. Bullseye Pete, that's your challenge. <laughs> I had to bring that up. So the T3, I've already reviewed this tank. It's a Panzer 3J, if I remember rightly. Yeah, it's a J. And it costs 550 gold needles, but obviously we're not going to be covering the tank in too much depth. Obviously we're going to be going into this thing eventually in the tank premium series. It's a nice tank. Tanker recently picked this thing up and he likes it a lot. And well, he was going to give me a combo, I think, with an IL-2. And then I said to him, we've had enough IL-2s, I think, so why don't you cook up something that we haven't had? And so he picked up the, well, he chose the PE3E for me. It was either going to be that or the AR2, so I'm sort of glad he picked the PE3. Because at least that thing's interesting. I don't need to cover the tank, because obviously we've covered the tank enough. I'm going to go over the plane briefly. We've got access to two 250kg bombs and two 100kg bombs, which drop separate. The 250s drop as a pair. And we get some pretty good guns as well to back us up. 250 cals in the front and a 7.62 and a 7.62 to cover the arse, as well as one the cone of the tail, which does actually have coverage. It, it has like 2 degrees, but it's still better than nothing. But the plane should be pretty decent for cast. Obviously, I, I have tested this combo. It does seem to work very well. It's just the Germans seem to love to find a look Like, they seem to know the location of my T3 and just completely swarm it with enemy tanks, but... I know, you can't win them all. Now with the recent volumetric changes, the 50mm is actually still good. It's still a good cannon to have. And with the volumetric changes, people going for your gun mantlet may actually want to think twice. Because there's a lot of overlap in the gun mantlet. And going over the frontal plate, you have to be dead center, which is why I've put the Soviet cross there. Which is what you get with this vehicle. Or the hammer and sickle, I should say. This is pretty much where you want to shoot a Panzer III. Because if you go like here, or here, with a big enough shell, there's a chance you might ricochet off the driver's port. And it just might hit the front armor at an odd angle and not penetrate. But this is still a good tank, and obviously having a good plane to back it up should be more than efficient for us to work with. Oh, not that. I meant to press the battle. Let's get into it, shall we? So yeah, with this vehicle, you do get access to the hammer and sickle decal, which are not a lot of people actually know that. But... There you go. I would like to see a T4 or a T2 be added, which is a, basically a, well, a Russian captured Panzer II or four accordingly. But I don't think we're going to be seeing that for a while, so... Yeah, don't get your hopes up. But I would love to see a captured Panzer IV F1 or an F2. That would be nice to have. Imagine Derp Angel if there was a captured Panzer IV F2. He'd be over that like a rash. So... That, that gives you an idea of how obsessed he is with Panzer IV F2. But on this map, the T3 might not be the best. I mean, it's a... I think this is a 3... This would be a 3-0 match, looking at the SP. Which we can work with this 50mm at this power rate. I mean, 80mm of penetration. It should be fine. Yep, people are spamming the Chiha long gun still. <laughs> to be fair, that thing is a lot of fun. It has its flaws, but still. So we're fighting Germans and the Swedish. Good job, Smarty, there. Hello, Shiha Longa. Yeah, I tend to, well, I kept the decals of this tank. I just put them in different locations to where they would come with the tank. I do like the T3. Not a lot of people do, though. Yeah, it's got a bad turret traverse, but it's a cracking tank. Nice little premium to get. I mean, I got it back when um, I did a GE wager and I got this thing. Come on, buddy. Let's go. I was uh, driving behind an old grandma in a Vauxhall Mariva. Come on, beep beep. I can't really go around him because I ain't got time to accelerate that fast. Uh, 
Right, I don't trust the left. Because, trust me, you don't, you, you don't want to... You don't want to be dealing with a Puma that rushes the point. I'm just going to reverse back and have a look. Whoa, where'd that come from? I'm going to check the left hand side. I got the bad feeling something's going to come down here. And the Crusaders just smoking up our entire point. Great job, buddy. Well, if it's not him then, who's doing it? I'm gonna angle up. Hmm. I swear there was sniper fire. Yep, there it is. Panzer three. Horrible shot. I'm not going to make an excuse that time, I've just not fired the short 50. I was playing the Panzer 3s the other day to respade them, so hence my bad aim. The, the long barrel Panzer 3s at least. Not really a lot of places where I can angle this tank, so I'm just going to have to park it here. I got a bad feeling that I'm getting watched. Well, I'm being watched. There he is. Okay. Gotta love the volumetric. To be fair, I'm kind of glad they added it because it, it really does help some tanks. Come on, I'm gonna load it. That's a wide boy. I missed that shot. Some Avente? What kind of flag was on that? What to... happens? That looks Romanian. That flag. That flag looked Romanian. If, if anyone happens to know, comments below, please. Joe is very rusty with his geography. There's a reason why I never did geography. My geography teacher was a dick. His name was Mr. Andrews and he was a proper prick. Oh, you little shit! Well, I'm dead. There's no lot I can do about that. Okay, how did you screw that up, buddy? Come on! Yes! Just got away with it. Oh god, half the enemy team's running down already on us. I can't see shit! Stop firing artillery! Jesus! I can't hear anything! I'm trying to listen to the little bastard, but I can't! Jesus Christ! Any more? God almighty! I'm just going to have to turn my back and hope he doesn't, like, push. Jesus Christ! Well, there's one, we might be able to push up on him. Jesus! More than the low tier in a nutshell. Deafen with artillery simulator. My Jesus. Oh, you little shit. Hello. What are you doing here? Had to wait for the gun to come down then. Hey, excuse me. No parking. This is a no parking zone, buddy. 
smoking up is not going to help when I'm right behind you. Bit optimistic there, buddy. Oh no, sweetie boy. That was luck. I don't know how he didn't pet us, but okay. Maybe he was one of the few Swedish players that doesn't spam APDS. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, that was luck. That was luck. Ah. You sneaky little bastard. L640. Yeah, I think that's the Romanian flag. Like I say, if anyone knows, comment below. There's a good look for you. Right, well, it's Peska time. That actually went surprisingly well. I wasn't expecting to get that sort of result. Let's get moving. Okay, open the bomb in the cells, because that's actually where the 100 kilograms are stored, for anyone who doesn't fly pescas. They're stored in the cells. Okay, we've got a couple of planes up. We've got one down to the lower left, which I'm going to go for in a minute. I don't know what it is. I think it's a 112. Kaboom! Nearly a teammate then with a bit of stray fire, but it's okay. Oh, teammate, watch out! Jesus Christ! Jesus! Someone got their pilot license from freaking Tony the Tiger. Which, if you don't understand that, that's a serial brand joke. No, 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 that's a J-22. Nope. Nope. Oh, come on! Ugh. And normally, those don't go... Oh, okay. And no, I've not been kissing Gaijin's ass. For anyone says, I don't put out fires and pescas ever. That is a once in a lifetime. Also, what the hell is that? There's like a cable. Oh, good lord. Oh, just my fucking luck. Look behind us. I'm just going to get rid of the bombs on this guy. I don't care if it's overkill. I just want to get rid of him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's still at sport protection. You've got to be joking me. Ugh. What is that behind us, actually? Is that a VG? Okay, gun is still alive, so that's a positive. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 don't fall out the fucking sky. Don't fall out the fucking sky. Not yet. Do it once we've a sustained a bit more damage. Or lost an engine. Because Pescas don't like losing engines. Right, where's this AAA? There's one. Oh, my aim is horrible, but I can kind of play the wing for that. Because freaking hell, fire, it's hard. Oh no! No, 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 I'll bring it round on that little bastard. If I can. Come on. Come on. Just gotta hope that little bastard don't see me. Swing it around. Anytime. Oh, jeez, that's flag. Hello there, sir. How are you doing today? Oh, good lord. Oh, no. Tracer! Come on, gunner. Oh, um, I needed that. Oh! Ugh. Oh, we got an assist. I love how he screamed back just to get me. <laughs> Out of all the planes you choose to go for, you go for a fucking Peshka, like seriously. War Thunder players in a nutshell, so desperate to get their ego back, they have to fucking chase a Peshka that's already going down. Oh dear. 
Well, that's GG. Two air kills, six ground kills, three assists. At a cost of two vehicles. Not a bad one at all. Okay. And obviously, because we had a premium in the lineup, we made some pretty alright SL. So, like I say, not a bad combo. Like I say, um, would be nice if um, we didn't get set on fire from one bullet, but to be fair, it was a 13.2, so I can sort of understand that. And, well, I didn't know the Flak Panzer under spawn had spawn protection still, so we kind of wasted our bombs. But at least we got to go fighter mode and clean up some targets with the guns, at least. But like I say, this combo is very effective, like, and to be honest, the T3 is a good tank, it's just, hmm, I mean, would I pay for this or a T126? That's for you to decide. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the T3 and the P3E, and I will catch you all on the next one.